guys welcome to rising vibration i am driving and i've been wanting to do a series of readings this week but i've been so busy i haven't had a chance to do it yet but sorry for the shaking it's going to shake a little bit so sorry for the video on that but i want to do a series oh my god anyway i wanted to do something with each one of the zodiac signs that, for instance, ruined your life, completely fucked up your life, and people can say, oh, it's your fault that this happened, but sometimes you really have people in your life that screw up your life, and anyway, you have people who ruin your life. And you wonder if they're ever going to get their karma back. So, for instance, Libra ruined my life. Will they ever get the karma back for what they did? Etc. Etc. So that's what this. My nose is running. It's cold. But seriously, this reading is called. Let's let's get back serious. This reading is called. They ruined my life. Will they ever get payback? I hope you guys do enjoy the reading. Please don't take it that seriously. It's more for fun because it's not good to wish ill will on anyone. It's just a method of venting about your frustrations and just kind of look at this like a release uh, for any frustration you can be having with a past partner who really ruined your life. So I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Take care. Welcome to Rising Vibrations. I just want to start off by explaining that these uh, readings are not to wish any ill will or bad luck on anyone. I have a lot of people who don't even watch the video who are making comments as such. That is not the rationale for uh, these readings and that is not the intent behind the reading. Yeah, so that's the whole point that everyone has a dark uh, a negative side and a positive side. This is more to look at the dark side of a personality or of a zodiac sign because that's what happens when someone treats you poorly or when someone does you wrong or someone treats you bad. They are reacting to their darker, uh, lower base energy. So that's the nature of the readings. I hope you guys enjoy them. Take care. Bye-bye. This is for Virgo. This is for those of you who feel like you had a Virgo sun, moon, rising, Venus sign who ruined your life and you want to know if they will get their karmic payback or come up and you feel like a Virgo did you wrong. And you want to know if they're going to get away with it. This is not to wish any bad or ill will feeling on any elemental sign. You guys hang with the reading. It may not be what you expect, but that is not the nature of these readings. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to look at the karmic energy for Virgo sun, moon, rising, Venus. Male or female, we're going to look at those Virgos who damage you in the area of love. We're going to look at the Virgos who damage you in the area of friendship. And then we're going to look at the Virgos who damage you in the area of money and career and see if they will get their karma comeuppance for the damage that they did to you and that your karma clear and all of this. So this is for Virgo. The karmic energy for Virgo is the family. This is a really nice energy, by the way. This is um, Cancer Libra energy. This is Moon Venus energy. Um, yeah, this is someone who's really focused on family. This is one who's focused on building relationships and friendships and bonds. Uh, this is someone who has good and honest intentions. Uh, this is someone who's very dedicated, someone who's very friendly. Um, they kind of have put on a face like this, but in reality, they had an agenda. That's what I'm getting. This is somebody who had an agenda. Okay, so in the area of love, relationships, intimate relationships, partners. Will they ever get their comeuppance? We have the King of Swords for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. And we have Major Arcana, the Star. Start over in his head. I'm trying to 
do a certain thing and then they're going back. So this is someone who's trying to do something. They're trying to fix something. It could be something about themselves, something even about their parents. Um, but then it gets stopped or it gets uh, revised. They have to, I don't know, they have to go back, fill in some papers. They have to do something here that they 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 try to move forward in a project or an objective and then it's like little new nuisances that keep popping up for them so this is in the area of love um someone who's trying to restrict their life someone who's trying to restrict their dreams uh someone so they can be with a partner in fact now who's very restrictive for them uh, they keep making them feel bad about their own goals, about what they're trying to accomplish for their life. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that they can be with an unsupportive partner who somehow limits their ability to actualize their own dreams or to move forward with their own dreams. Um, that's what it looks like here with this king of swords and major arcana to start. They're still going to go through with what they want to do. It's not going to prohibit them because the king of swords doesn't have anywhere near the weight of the star. It could also be a, a, a dysfunctional uh, relationship that the Virgo sun, moon, rising Venus has with themselves. And they're taking time in a relationship that isn't going to take them anywhere instead of healing and working on themselves or their own life. So there's also something like that there, that they're, they have, they're dealing with distractions doesn't have to be a person it could be that they're dealing with distractions that are I don't know they're dealing with distractions that just don't bring them anywhere instead of dealing with themselves and trying to get better the final outcome in the area of love we have the we have the queen of pentacles so earth energy, of course, so it's like uh, being mismatched, being in a relationship with the complete wrong person. They could find themselves in a situation like that. And in the end, this person, it just doesn't work. They have to start over. They have to be by themselves to get better. That's clear. They have to be alone to get better. They could be trying to do everything else except, except for be alone to get better. But in the end, the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign will at some point have to take a time out with themselves, try to figure out what they really want. They can't cover it with uh, this distraction for long. In the area of friendships, we have Major Arcana and the Chariot, and we have the Two of Cups. In fact, this is making new friends, making new contacts, um, people talking a lot, but not really following through, making a lot of promises, but not really following through. Um, this could also be that the Virgo is doing stuff for people on the pretense that they'll be, they'll get pay or compensation for it later, but then they're trying to fight for it later because a person isn't just giving them what they said that they would give them. Um, they could be stringed along, strung, strung along, strung along, something like that between the two of these, between relationship and friendships. They could be mixing a business relationship also or a friendship with business. I don't know why that's coming out of here, which is already a big no. No, we always know how this comes out when you try to mix the two of those. But it's like the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign is ignoring that. So this is for the Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. They did you dirty in the air of relationships, friendships, friendships. Now will they finally get their comeuppance? We have the Queen. Of, uh, we have the Empress. I'm sorry. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Empress now. It's just really odd energy. I have to think because something's happening here. This is... Uh, opportunity is going to come a big opportunity or big chance for something for them to meet their objective in life or even their dreams but 
the Virgo sun with rising Venus sign is going to get a huge opportunity of some kind. And yeah, it just looks like they're going to get some kind of an opportunity. I don't know if that's really going with the reading or if this is pulling through. This is something coming through in the Virgo reading that they, because these cards look actually very good. Looks like the Virgo will get some, Virgo sun moon rising Venus sign is going to get some kind of an opportunity. So let, that's reaching into the reading a little bit there. I'm being directed in this here. Um, so there's some type of an opportunity here. here. Let me jump to work because I want to see if they did you dirty in the air of work. We have the Ace of Cups. And we have the Three of Swords, so it wouldn't be a good idea if those Virgos are out there running around wreaking havoc for someone on the job. Uh, it looks like it won't work out to their benefit. They will take a hit financially. They could lose out on an opportunity if the Virgo is running around behaving very negative with other people or if they have done quite a bit in the past and really ruined someone's life and the other person is really karma clear. They can lose out on a huge opportunity that they plan for their life and for their future. That's pulling together. We have another major arcana. We have the high priestess. Um, if I if I was a Virgo watching this video, I would say tread lightly, be careful, treat people fairly, treat people appropriately, um, treat people as they treat you or as you want. Uh, treat someone how you would want them to treat you treat others like you know what I'm trying to say because it's something like you should know better you should know better and be careful because uh, you have a big opportunity coming forward for you but let's say it's only going to go your way if you've been correct or if you treat people correctly or if they've treated others correctly fairly um and when they lose this, if they do, they're going to know exactly why. So I feel like the Virgo is very aware of their karma. They're thinking quite a bit about their own karma and how they have treated someone in the past. It could be that they already are feeling very bad about how they treated someone that they cared about in the past. And they're thinking that they're going to get payback for it. I don't know. Something odd here. I'm going to pull three of these. I'm going to pull four. I'm going to pull one for here, 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 here. Let's see if we can pull it any more out because it's an odd reading. We have the King of Cups. We have Major Arcana of the Moon in the area of love relationships. We have the Two of Wands in the area of friendships. And we have the messenger of fire. So what is really coming across in this last top confirmation is that the Virgo does have a really a lot of potential or something very positive in their life. But it's almost like if you haven't learned how to behave by now, they have a, a higher chance of losing this opportunity or losing any gains that they've made if they haven't grown from their past behavior or experiences. There's no other way to put it. Like they're going to ruin it for themselves if they haven't learned properly how to treat people. Um, I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to ruin this aspect and I also don't want to go too much into that. It just seems to me like they should know better behaving in the same way that they did in the past. It blowing up in their face. This is all what I'm getting. So if they're behaving this way, then it won't go well for them. If they learned from their mistakes, even if they wronged or ruined your life, if they honestly have learned from their mistakes and in this two of cups, in the major arcana of the chariot and in the queen, the empress, and then the two of wands, if they've learned from their mistakes, then somehow it can go very well for them. But with this major arcana of the empress, the three of swords, and also the ace of cups, they have to have 
learned from their mistake messenger of fire this is like the knight of wands how they're going to react what they're going to do will be a reflection of what they've done in the past and if they've learned from their mistakes of the past that's going to drive the outcome and all of this for them now that came out very weird very different from all the other readings but it is what it is i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit the thumbs up otherwise take care i'll see you soon Bye bye